It's the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Chicago Bears, both teams with 2-0 records. Here is Jim McMahon. They would love to have him in there tonight. But again, he had trouble in last Sunday's game. He was in traction right after the game. He has not worked out this week. Directed by Jerry Burns. He's been with Grant for a lot of years. And Tommy Kramer's back on second and nine. Picked off. That's Leslie Frazier. And then Frazier brings it all the way back to the 38-yard line. Peyton in the tailback spot for the Bears. Fuller reading the blitz. I believe it was an automatic. He goes to Galt. Galt gets the first down. Second down and six. The ball near the 20-yard line of the Vikings. McKinnon in motion. Billy Galt. And Galt with that great speed just explodes inside the 10-yard line. Third down goal to go. In case you forgot. Walter Payton. Payton. Throw it up first by Elshire. And then he turns right into the pursuit. And he'll lose a couple of yards. And Fuller with a good hold. That ball was low. He spun it around, got the laces forward. Setbacks. Anderson 46. Nelson is 20. Kramer's in trouble. Steps back into the pocket. And fires. Gets it to the tight end. Steve Jordan in 83. Over 600 yards. And Tommy Kramer goes up on top of 35. And wide open. Mike Jones. Jones attracts a lot of bears, but not until he gets the first down in control of the quarterback. Third and six, shotgun for Minnesota and Tommy Kramer. Again, pressure. Fires it. Gets it to Mike Jones again, and Jones will have another first down. Second and eight, Kramer's back again. This time, Kramer will not get away from McMichael. They have been pressuring almost every play. This time, they got Tommy back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and 11, and a tough down. This is when the Bears, who love to rush the passer, just pin their ears back, turn it all loose. They have the four down linemen, as you can see. They have Hampton, McMichael, and Hartenstein. Kramer dancing around, trying to find the receiver. He does, gets it to Mike Jones. Jones will be close to a first down. Ray Coleman provides the snap. And we have a tie game. Fuller's the quarterback in relief to Jim McMahon, who has a neck spasm and a back spasm, could not start tonight. Fuller. There's one loose to Willie Galt, and Galt will have another bear first down. Vikings continue with four down linemen. There was movement, but no flag. Walter Payton. And Payton will have a bear first down, doing his thing. Third down, long yardage. The ball up to the penalty, back at the 27-yard line. They need to get to the six for a first down. Right for Galt here. Going deep for Galt. And it's picked off. Once again, good effort. Carl Lee was back there. He started as a free safety. Lost that job this year to Keith Nord. Nord is out of there tonight. Lee came in. And roaming about from free safety, he gets the intercept. Third down and four from the shotgun. Here come the folks. And Kramer, seeing that they were coming, has to hurry it. Respecting Coleman. He bobbles the ball. Coleman still bobbles the ball. A flag is down. The ball is covered by the Bears. Illegal formation. Offense. Only six men on the line of scrimmage. Decline. First off. Dennis McKinnon. Willie Galt is to the right. Walter Payton. And Payton near the five-yard line. 2-0 into tonight's game. Payton. Peyton pecking, looking, and then turning on the power. Gets down to close to the two-yard line. And that time, Peyton tried to just bull his way in. Gets to the one-yard line where it'll be third down. He never had a chance. He wanted to go up. Joey Browner came around the horn, made the hit. It'll be fourth down. And the Bears lead it six to nothing with 325 remaining in the half. Second and long, Kramer's back, here comes the full blitz. Kramer ducked under it, and of course a single coverage downfield, and Anthony Carter gets his first reception of the night. That of course in the USFL. Kramer fires quickly to the tight end. This is Malarkey, and Malarkey has a first down inside the 30-yard line of the 29. Kramer fires a shot, it's complete to Carter. And Anthony Carter, who looks so fragile out there, 
works for another Viking first down. Second down and ten. That's the time remaining in the half. Kramer trying to get the six. In the corner, that's Anthony Carter. Touchdown. No flags. Well thrown ball and Carter in a good sprint. 14-yard touchdown. Well, Frank, you just said it. They left the cornerback out there all by himself, and he got burned. First down, Bears. Fuller. Screen, Natsui. Natsui, good running. Ran right under a Viking. And then really heads up play. Stepping out of bounds when he got all he could get up near midfield. Second down and nine. Bears trailing 10 to 3. Fuller under pressure. Tried to throw the ball in the direction of Sui. And he may get called for grounding the ball this time, although Sui was right in his line. And the Vikings with a sellout hometown crowd lead the Bears. Division champion loses to the 49ers in the NFC title game. While well, the Vikings were 3 and 13. Here's Willie Gulf. Great speed, and Willie Galt finds a little bit of a gap, and he takes it out to the 43-yard line. Fuller from the regular tee, hands off to Suey on second and ten. Matt Suey, good, strong running. He'll have a first down. He hasn't been able to get deep on the Vikings. Twice they've had a first down and goal to go, but they have not been able to get it into the end zone. Fuller fires to Brad Anderson, and Anderson may have taken himself out of first down range. The rookie from Georgia. Now, Butler has made three for three. Eleven and a half. On second and ten, Kramer with a little rollout, giving a little more protection. He gets the ball out to Malarkey, and Malarkey close to a first down. Third and nine. From the shotgun, Tommy Kramer. This time, Kramer had some time. Looks downfield, and he finds Buster Ryan. A rookie from Oklahoma. He comes down with a Minnesota first down. Second down, goal to go. Kramer up again. Wide open. Touchdown, Mike Jones. He had a couple of key receptions for first downs in the first half, and this time Mike Jones, a third-year man from Tennessee State, gets it into the end zone and stretches out the Minnesota lead. I think we now know what Ditka, how he measures the catastrophe. Jim McMahon is going to come into the game. We were told he would not be in unless something catastrophic happened. But here he is, Jim McMahon, great All-American from Brigham Young University, has taken over for the Bears. Pressure on the first oh. play and right open. I love it. Does Willie Galt forget it. If he gets behind you, it's over. And McMahon paid the price, but he got the touchdown. 70-yard touchdown. He really got <laughs> hammered just as he released the ball. And Dennis that's Johnson was coming on the blitz. I don't know whether he was the man that got him, but what a great shot. Hitting Willie Galt right in stride. Third down and 16. And I promise you, those four down linemen... Dent, Hampton, McMichael, and Hartenstein will just let it fly. Kramer, the protection is picked off, however. This is Wilbur Marshall. And Marshall brings it back to the 25-yard line. That time, Kramer had a lot of time. Minnesota leading Chicago 17-16. McMahon. Firing McKinnon. Touchdown. McMahon has thrown two footballs tonight, two touchdowns, a 25-yarder there to McKinnon. Earlier, a few moments ago, if you were not with us, a 70-yarder to Willie Gulp. Quite a football game, and this man has put some electricity into it. Second down and seven. Kramer dancing around, but he finds Anderson, and Anderson slips, but he gets the first down. In baseball, in American League. Third down and ten now for the Vikes. Kramer. Going in the general direction of Buster Ryan. Ten. Again, quick count by McMahon. Complete to Marjoram. Second down, 15. That's Willie Galt. Galt, close to a first down. Walter Payton with the setback. And McMahon, pinch nerve of the neck at all, gets the first down on the sneak over the left side. Well, he almost pulled Ditka's leg too long because Ditka wasn't going to play him tonight because he had not worked out. A first down. This is McMahon again. Right open field in front of him. He wants a bundle. Got McKinnon. That is McKinnon. Third touchdown pass tonight 
for McMahon. McKinnon second, a 43-yard effort, and he is blowing this game away. He makes things happen. <laughs> On first down, Kramer is back. Kramer is down. Sacked by McMichael. Back close to the 10-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. Third down and nine. Tommy Kramer from the shotgun. Oh yeah, good shot. Getting it upfield. Leo Lewis. First down Vikings. Third and long. Kramer. Wide open. Deep downfield. It was the rookie from Oklahoma, Buster Rhymes. Third and ten. There's Sean Kramer. He gets it away, oh. and that pass was for first down yardage. Uh oh, oh, and a bad oh. snap to Coleman. Punt it. Oh. And we've heard so many complaints about the carpet here at the Metrodome. Walter Payton. And Payton. He charged. Adds to his NFL record. Well, instead of a love hate relationship, really. Band puts it in the air and fires a shot. Well, snap. Catch. I mean, of course, James Wilder has 279 yards. Third and 15. Ball batted away. Going up there to get it was Doug Martin. Evan Butler. No, oh, he hooks it to the left. Tommy Kramer having a rough night, but he stays in there. This one's to Steve Jordan. And Jordan down the sidelines, stays inbounds and gets out of it the 40. He's thrown two interceptions, has two touchdowns. Second down and 10. Kramer, what's the big one? He's got him. Carter, Anthony Carter. And how easy it is when you have skill at either end. Kramer laid that up perfectly. Anthony Carter took it in. Ooh, like a Broadway actor, he's loving this. I'm running the show. First down. And oh, the no. receiver wide open. It's McKinnon. <laughs> McKinnon having a brilliant night, as is McMahon. Up in Seattle in his 1985 debut. Quick count by McMahon. On third and three, gets it to Marjoram. Marjoram has the first down for the Bears. We've got a third and 20, but let's get 10 more and give our field goal kicker a better opportunity. They're only six ahead. They'd like to stretch it. He's got a lot of McMahon running. McMahon is thinking the same thing. He's thinking first down. He is looking for first down. He doesn't get it, but he gets inside the 15. Hilgenberg on the snap. And this time, the rookie from Georgia puts it through the upright. Impressive statistics considering he blew a first kickoff. Sure is. The rookie from Oklahoma. Oh, Buster Rhymes. Oh, another good return. Great effort on the part of Buster Rhymes, George Rhymes. And we're back again. Fires this time underneath, and Jordan coughs it up. Picked up in stride. Wilbur Marshall of the Bears comes up with it. He really sparked this football team in the third quarter. Vikings thinking blitz. Peyton over the right side. Down he goes. Martin was there, along with Doug Martin for the stop. It'll be fourth down of 45 yards. Nope. Hooks it to the left, as he did from 35 yards out a little earlier. Buster Rhymes has had a spectacular night. And Leo Lewis. Kramer. And this is when the Bears really pinned their ears back. That was Otis Wilson coming on the blitz. He was there. Richard Dent was there. Fourth down. There's bring three in a deep prevent. Oh, wide open and stepping out of bounds with the first down is Leo Lewis. Early December. The Bears will be watching and the Vikes, oh, of course they move on to Buffalo and another first down completion by Tommy Kramer. It's Anthony Carter top of your screen. Kramer, picked off. Otis, Otis Wilson. There he is, Joe. He said you haven't heard much of him. Okay, Otis. Intended for Leo Lewis. They went there too often. That ball was deflected, and Otis Wilson got it. Turned into a flat-footed tie as Jim McMahon. He goes down on one knee. And the Vikings are not going to use their one timeout. Undefeated at 3-0 for Mike Ditka. 
A good start here in 1985. The defending Central Division champions are 3-0.